hello guys welcome back to my channel today we are going through cambridge lower secondary checkpoint mathematics paper 2 uh, october 2019 uh, some uh, viewers asked me about like what class is this these are grade 6 or year 9 papers that are being conducted after uh, uh, during the checkpoint exams so some i think countries they use do in uh, year 8 and some they do in year 9 so it's helpful for year 7 8 and 9 also so these are the instructions here go through the instructions you need to follow all the rules here this is paper 2 uh, from october 2019 so we can use calculator for this one so before we start i would request you guys to subscribe to my channel and to share it with your friends and if you like press the like button so let's start Question 1. Uh, Jamila does a survey to find the cost in dollars and the memory size in the gigabytes of memory sticks for computers. The scatter graph shows the result of her survey. Uh, so this is the, uh, you can see the survey here. Uh, this is cost here, this is memory size. Jamila buys a memory stick for $8. Draw a ring around the most likely memory size of Jamila's memory stick. So $8 is, where is $8? Here we can see. This is the cost 5. It will be between here. Then we have here two of them which are 8 GB. So we will circle here 8 GB. Right? Now, describe the relationship between the memory size and the cost of memory sticks. So, if you see, if we see the relationship here, so as the memory size is increasing, the cost is also increasing. So, we can say it is a positive correlation. We can say positive correlation or we can say the uh, larger the memory size larger the memory size the higher the cost okay so you can directly even write down that it is a positive correlation that will also say the same thing question 2 Simplify these power calculations. Give each answer as power of 6. So we cannot use calculator for that. You can directly use the uh, rules because uh, rules of exponents. Here we have this uh, division sign. So when we have x power m divided by x power n by exponent, we subtract the powers, right? So now here 6, 8 minus 2 6 power 8 minus 2 it is 6 so final answer is going to be 6 power 6 don't calculate this because the instruction is um, give answer as power of 6 now here also we can make it 6 3 times 2 is 6 6 times this one here so it is 6 1 plus 3 plus 4 so it is 6 power 8 6 power 8 right now, number three, um, Safiya is a tennis player and the bar chart shows the number of matches she played each year from 2010 to 2014. So, we have here matches lost in grey and black matches won. Uh, so, years are here this side. Write down how many matches she lost in 2010. So, in 2010, here... Uh, it is, uh, you can see here, this is 10 and this is 24. So, this is between this one. So, 24, it will be 24 minus 10 which is 40, right? So, that is the final answer for this question. Question 4, write one of these signs. So, we have these signs here, less than, equal and greater than. In each box to make it the correct statement so this is zero point uh, this is three decimal places right we can make it zero three decimal places zero point zero four zero so they are same so this is equal uh, so this is zero point i can write it down uh, zero point four four zero so this is four hundred and forty after decimal and this is forty four so that means this one is 
greater so sign will go to this side and this one now three decimal places if we add one decimal here this is 440 this is 404 so that means this is less than this one right now number five the diagram shows a cube and a cuboid tick to show which has the larger volume uh, so volume for this one will be 6 times 6 times 6 because this is a cube and this will be 6 times 7 times 5 so let's see how much is this 6 times 6 times 6 so this is 216 and this one is 6 times 7 times 5 it is 210 so which one is greater here the cube is greater so we'll take cube you must show how you calculate it so this we can show it here now uh, volume of cube and here volume of cuboid right volume of cube is 6 times 6 times 6 it is 216 centimeter cubed and here it is 6 times 7 times 5 which is 210 centimeter cube so this is two marks question you need to show all the working here so let's move to next one question 6 part a lily has seven cards you can see these cards she picks a card at random write down the probability that she picks a card that has circle on it so we are looking for the circles how many circles we have one two and three so we have three circles out of how many total outcomes they are seven cards so three over seven very simple question now part b lily is given one more card the probability of picking a card with a square on it shows half draw a ring around the shape that must be on the new card so uh, prob uh, let's go back again uh, she's given one more card right she has seven cards now she has one more card so one more card that means we uh, there is, there are eight cards now uh, the probability of picking that card is uh, now with the square on it is half so we need to see which one be the because you see we have there is no triangle uh, triangle is there sorry so we have one two three so three squares there we have three squares there and then the probability is will be most probably it should be a square right now number seven factorize six x uh, 12 by minus 3z now if we need to take out to factorize we need to take whatever is common so x y z variables are different so we can just uh, take out the number the numbers are multiples of 3 so 3 is common here so 3 times 2 6 uh, 3 times 4 minus z so that is going to be our answer here there is nothing else that we can factorize question 8 Chen and Yuri both travel to work along the same route here is a travel graph showing their journey so if this is distance this side here time here this is journey of Chen and this is journey of Yuri write down the distance that they travel to work so where is the distance we have to go back here so this we have distance here this is 20 25 so there are 10 uh, five, 10 squares cover uh, 5 kilometers so each square one square then will be 0 0.5 so that means two square will make one here so this is their journey point here so this is 20 21 22.5 so this is going to be 22.5 kilometers right now part b chen passes yuri on his way to work write down the time at which chen passes yuri so this is the time when he pass here so if you go down here so this will be here 740 and between 8 it will be 750 so that is 7 50 right now Chen's journey takes 23 minutes 
वर्क आउट हाउ लॉन्गर यूरीज जर्नी टेक्स प्लेस सो टेंस जर्नी इज हियर इट इज ट्वेंटी थ्री मिनट्स सो टेन इज आई कैन टेक इट इज हियर सो टू मेक श्योर वी कैन जस्ट ड्रॉ लाइन फ्रॉम हेयर डाउन सो दैट वी कैन सी वेयर एग्जैक्टली इज दिस वन हेयर एंड यूर इज इज दिस वन हेयर सो दिस इज एट थर्टी राइट दिस इज अप टू हेयर इज ट्वेंटी थ्री मिनट्स सो ही इज टेकिंग मोर टाइम सो ट्वेंटी थ्री मिनट्स प्लस फॉर मार्च लेट सी सो दिस वन हेयर इट इज टेन राइट टेन मिनट्स एंड देन टेन मोर मिनट्स Twenty minutes, and then we have this eight, eight two, eight four, eight six, and eight eight, then eight ten. So then we have twenty um, minutes. This one, and plus four of this. So it is twenty four more minutes. So which is forty seven minutes. Right. You just need to calculate the timing here. क्वेश्चन नाइन राजीव वॉन्ट्स टू बाई नाइन्टी बल्ब्स ही कैन बाई दैम फ्रॉम जर्मनी एंड यू एस इन जर्मनी द पैक ऑफ सिक्स लाइट बल्ब्स कॉस्ट थर्टी थ्री इन यू एस पैक ऑफ थ्री बल्ब्स कॉस्ट एटीन डॉलर्स एक्सचेंज रेट इज गिवन वर्कआउट हाउ मच राजीव कैन सेव बाई बाइंग हिज नाइन्टी बल्ब फ्रॉम यू एस गिव यूर आंसर इन डॉलर सो वी कैन डू स्टेप बाई स्टेप so this is the section for germany and this is for us from germany he can buy six light bulbs then euros uh six light bulbs in 33 euros and he want to buy 90 bulbs so how much will this cost to so this will be 90 times 33 over 6 so 90 times 33 over 6 Uh, divided by six, it is four hundred and ninety-five uh, euros, right? So we can convert this afterwards euros. Let me write it down. Uh, now for US, uh, three pack here all again bulbs and dollars. So three bulbs can buy for eighteen dollars and ninety bulbs. Let's see how much is that. So this is going to be ninety uh, times eighteen over three. Three times six, five hundred and forty dollars. We are talking about dollars. We have five hundred and forty dollars. Now let's convert euros. So we are given one euro is equal to one point one dollar, right? So four hundred and ninety five euros will be. How many dollars? So this dollar will be equals to when you cross multiply. Um, this is four ninety five times one point one. So four hundred and ninety five. Four ninety five times one point one. This is five hundred and forty four point five dollars. Right? Subtract this. So oh, the saving. Saving will be. Five forty four point five minus five hundred and forty, which is four point five, right? So final answer is four point five. So this is three marks question. Be careful. Go step by step slowly. First of all, you underline your keywords. Then go according to uh, the instruction step by step. Then you can reach to your conclusion, right? Now number ten. Write down the missing number in the box to make the statement correct. So fifty percent of forty and one by five percent of what? So you can uh, find out this first. Fifteen percent that means fifteen over hundred times forty. So fifteen times forty divided by hundred. It is six. So this answer is six. So now here we are looking for one by five of x. Let's say it is x, and this is given to you as six. So x will be six times five, which is thirty. So we will have thirty here in this one. 
right now the next one is dash percent of this first we can calculate what is this 2 by 3 of 90 3 times 3 it is 60 so now here we can put it x x percent that means x over 100 times 150 right so now we are looking for value of x x will be 60 this will go here times 100 over 150 so we can calculate this one directly 60 times 100 divided by 150 this is 40 so this is going to be 40 right question 11 wow we have so many lines here the four lines shown on the grid line a b c and d draw a ring around the line that is equation for y equals to 4 so this is x uh, y x is here y equals to 4 is here so which line is that this is line c so we can circle line c you know sometimes these questions look complicated but they are not don't get afraid of them just read instructions and go and then line e is parallel to line a and passes through point negative 2 5 write down the equation of line e uh, so now instructions line e is parallel to line a this is line a e is a line which is parallel and passes through point negative 2 and 5 so negative 2 and 5 is this point this is negative 2 and 5 will be here so you said it is passing through from so and and this is the point right where line passes and it is parallel to a so a is here so parallel to a the only line will be here this one here so what will be this line this is negative 2 here uh, x this is x equals to negative 2 so equation of the line will be x equals to negative 2 right that's it you see the question is so big but the working is little so let's move to next one question 12 angelic has some building blocks the blocks are red green yellow or blue there are four times as many uh, as blue blocks there are green angelic picks a block at random complete the table so we are given the relationship of green and blue so we have so he said that there are four times as many blue blocks as there are green uh, so there blue blocks four times as many blue blocks as green so blue blocks four times so if green is x and then blue is 4x so four times as many blue blocks as the green so this is the equation so now you know that some of the probabilities should be 1 so we are going to add all of them this should be equal to 1 probability total of the probabilities now when you add this one 0 0.20 0 0.05 so this is 0 0.25 plus add these two plus 5x equals to 1 so 5x is equal to 1 minus 0 0.25 which is 0 0.75 divided by 5 divided by 5 so this is 0 0.15 so x is 0 0.15 which is which was green so this is 0 0.15 and times 4 4 times it will be 6 0 0.6 right so that's it for this one now part b angelic picks two blocks at random Complete the sample space diagram to show all the possible outcomes for the colors. So we have here block 2, block 1. Red, 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 green, red, yellow. Now we will go this way. G, R, then G, 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 Y and G, B. Now this way, Y, R, Y, G, Y, Y and Y, B. Okay, now B, R, B, G b y and b b right so that is number 12 so i hope you guys understood everything remaining question we will do in the next video 
so please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends if there is anything let me know in the comment section okay god bless you guys and all the best for your exams see you in the next video bye bye